night of the Tuesday Show Comedy at the Brass Door downtown. My friend, Mitchell Dunham! <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're good, man. I want to thank Doug and Kyle and everybody here at uh, the Brass Door. Kyle, thanks for grabbing my throne. And Doug, I'm sorry. Kyle's over there. Doug's over here. Sunglasses. I can't see with all the lights. Man, that was... So, yeah, like they said, my name's Mitchell Dunham. That's Mitchell Roy Dunham if you want to be official. Yes, my initials are MRD. That's Mr. DBU. And ladies, you can take it any way you like. So yeah, like Kyle said, I was recently, uh, I got lucky enough to get on stage in Atlanta with Jeff Ross at the Oddball Comedy Festival and got to tell a few jokes in front of around 8,000 people. And now I'm playing for 80, awesome. <laughs> no, it was great though. I mean, I got to share the stage with Jeff Ross and Amy Schumer, Tim Minchin. It was a make-a-wish come true. <laughs> so I keep laughing at all these people today that keep shopping at Goodwill. I tried that, it doesn't work for me. Do you guess where I get my clothes? Once upon a child. It's really hard to be tough when you got three me in your day. <laughs> So uh, a few nights ago, I was standing outside of the gig, standing outside this bar, and there's some homeless people walking around asking for money. And then one of them walked up and offered me money. <laughs> I, mean, I know I'm fucked up, but damn. <laughs> now that I think about it, I really should've taken him up on it. I mean, Sally Mae is a bitch. You know, you borrow a little bit of money, 30 grand, you know. And she's knocking down my door like she's pregnant or something. I told that bitch she can have it back. I don't want the degree. Take it. They don't take it back, unfortunately. Bars are interesting though, especially this one. Very handicap accessible. No, I mean, bars are weird for me, you know? In the 90s, it wasn't bad. It was always easy to find a seat. You know, Google's killing my seating situation. I can't find a fucking book to save my life. You get it, I'm sure. They don't have booster seats. I gotta have phone books. People love to ask me stupid questions, though. I don't understand why they do. But, you know, there's a saying that there's no such thing as a stupid question. I just want y'all to know that's fucking stupid. They're definitely stupid questions. I get them all the time. How do you piss? How do you have sex? With my dick, how do you? <laughs> Biology still applies, people. Science, it happens. <laughs> so I was laying in bed with my girlfriend the other night, watching a movie, and one of the characters in the movie was described as being a peach. And my girlfriend looked at me and said, hey sweetie, if I was a fruit, what would I be? And I realized how loaded of a question that is. But I decided to answer it anyways. And I thought about it for a second and said, Sweetie, if you were a fruit, you'd be a strawberry. You're vibrant and sweet, a little bitter every now and then, but always juicy and delicious and covered in blackheads. <laughs> Needless to say, we don't do Compliment Saturday anymore. Those of you who know me, you know my girlfriend's actually a nurse. And most people, when they first meet me, they think that's how me and my girlfriend met, that she was my nurse. Don't you know that's not true? I actually stole my girlfriend from somebody. Yeah. How would you feel to have to tell your buddies you lost your girlfriend to a cripple? Man, you'd do anything not to tell that. You would lie your ass off. Hey, Bob, where's your girlfriend, man? She died. <laughs> She died, Bob? Yeah, man, she fell off a cliff. Bob, this is Memphis. There are no cliffs. Did I say cliff? I meant the bluff. She fell off the bluff. 
Bob the Bluffs of Hill. Fuck you, man, she's gone. Shut up. <laughs> so a lot of people, for some reason, ask me if I hate disabled people. And then they get really angry when I tell them that I don't. I mean, it's nothing against disabled people, it's just logistics, you know? Who's gonna open the door? I mean, you know, date night's interesting. Hey, sweetie, I got a great idea. Let's sit here and stare at each other. So much for Netflix and chill. I gotta have a nurse just to have sex with her. It's terrible. Two wrongs don't make a right. I've come to realize this. So, I dated this one chick in high school, and her mother absolutely hated me. She was always really nice, but I know she hated me. Because the only thing I can remember that she said about me was, you know, my favorite thing about Mitchell is I know he can't rape my daughter. <laughs> wow. I don't even understand the awkward feeling when you stand up too fast. And she's worried about me raping her daughter. condition most you people can't pronounce. It's osteogenesis imperfecta. It's complex, right? Lots of Latin. Make it easy, it means I have brittle bones. And basically that means I once broke my hip taking a shit. You think that sucks, try wiping afterwards. I, re I really come to, and I've had two under broken bones. I really hate that phrase, break a leg. For most people it means good luck. For me, it's like walking up and saying, hey, fuck you. I think I took that phrase, chicks dig scars, a little too far. Just a little. So, uh, it's almost Halloween. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Got your costumes picked out? I've come to realize, I think I might still go to the treaty. I think I can get away with it. I can always dress up like a smurf. Maybe Chucky? No, I got it, y'all. I've already got my costume. Check it out. My guy fought. Guy fought? Come on. No, come on. I mean, I've come to realize that I've got some, I've got a really good excuse to believe in God. There's no real reason. You know, the Bible says we're all made in God's image. We're all made in God's image. I think God was on acid when he made me. So, uh, I got one more for you guys. I'll tell you about one time me and my buddies were in high school. We got bored and decided to go mess with the people at Taco Bell. So... We went to Walmart and got a bunch of helium balloons, we jumped in the car, drove to the drive-thru. We got four dudes in the car with helium at the drive-thru. Thank you for coming to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Chalupa! <laughs> um, did you repeat that, James? Of course, by the time we get to the front, all of our helium's worn off. So he's walking out expecting to see Alvin, Simon, and Theodore in the car. And it's just three dudes. Hey, what's up? Thanks for coming to Taco Bell. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, you too. Bye. All right, guys. That's my time.